I'm Allison Raphael, makeup artist and founder of Allison Raphael Cosmetics, and today I'm here to explain to you what antioxidants are and how they protect your skin from free radical damage. Now, I know you've heard the terms before, antioxidants, free radical damage, but unless you're a scientist, you probably don't know exactly what they mean. Not a problem. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to break it all down for you really simple and easy. First thing, what is a free radical? Definition of a free radical is an atom with an irregular or odd number of electrons circling it. Now, if you remember high school science, you've got protons and neutrons in the center, and the things that orbit it are the electrons. Now, electrons are, <laughs> to make this non-scientific, very much like teenage girls. They like to travel in pairs. They hate to be by themselves. So what happens is, if you have an atom with an odd number of electrons, that one electron that doesn't have a partner makes the whole atom very unhappy and very unstable. Okay, now that we know that uh, a free radical is an atom with an unpaired electron that's very unhappy and very unstable, the next question is, what kind of damage can it do? Or, what is free radical damage? Free radical damage occurs because when an atom is unstable and it has that unpaired electron, it goes looking for an, uh, another electron to pair with its unpaired electron to stabilize itself. It makes sense, right? You, you go off balance, you try to stabilize yourself. Well, the atom tries to do the same thing. So what it does is it looks around at the atoms around it and it steals an electron. Well, that's all fine and good for our original free radical uh, atom because now it's stable, <laughs> but for the guy who got his electron stolen, now he's an unstable atom and he becomes a free radical and he's got an unpaired electron and you know what, he's got to turn around to the next atom and steal an electron from him and so on and so forth. And this whole cycle, it's all like a domino effect begins of what's known as electron stealing. And um, this whole domino effect creates a whole situation of instability at a molecular level. So where do these free radicals come from? Well, they come from the process of oxidation, which essentially is unavoidable for us human beings. Um, oxidation happens when an oxygen molecule hits another type of molecule, and just about any other type of molecule, except for antioxidants, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, and it, um, it starts, it creates free radicals, and then it starts the destructive chain of reaction of free radical damage. You're very familiar with oxidation. Um, it's what happens when metal rusts, or when copper left outside begins to turn green, or when you cut an apple and you leave it on the counter and the flesh of the apple starts to turn brown. It's a decaying process, um, and you know it, it's part of life. Uh, it's essential for life. But even though um, our bodies, as part of the metabolic process, create free radicals within ourselves, um, that's normal and that's healthy. However, as human beings, we encounter a lot of excess free radicals um, during our day. And places where a lot of excess free radicals come from uh, are pollution, uh, um, UV exposure, you know, from the sun, uh, cigarette smoke, uh, even stress uh, can create excess free radicals that can damage our bodies. Okay, so now that we know what a free radical is and the damage it can do, um, the question is, how can antioxidants help protect us? It's very, very simple. Antioxidants, remember I was talking about oxidation um, and how when oxygen comes in contact with another molecule, it forms free radicals and then the whole chain of destruction begins. Um, well, antioxidants are very unique in that its atoms don't care if it has an odd number or even number of electrons. They remain stable no matter what. So just visualize this sort of chain of electron stealing destruction going along, and all of a sudden, here it comes into contact with an antioxidant. The antioxidant, the, the atom that is looking for an electron, says to the antioxidant, um, hey, can I have an electron? I need it to stabilize myself. And the antioxidant says, sure. Here's an electron for you, no problem. But the antioxidant, because it's stable, no matter if it has an even number or odd number of electrons, doesn't need to go continuing the cycle of stealing electrons, and the destruction stops there. It literally ends that cycle of destruction uh, and, and halts it. Okay, so now to demonstrate 
what oxidation and free radical damage actually looks like and actually does to healthy flesh, I brought along some apples today. Here I have an uncut apple. I'm going to cut it open for you and show you what healthy apple tissue looks like. Okay? Very simple. It's exactly what you'd expect, the creamy colored flesh of a freshly cut apple. Now, <clears throat> I also have another apple here that I cut last night. Now this apple, what I did was on this side, I left it alone. I simply put it in the refrigerator and as you can see, when the oxygen molecules came into contact with the apple molecules, free radicals were formed and you see the resulting decay that occurred in, in, um, in the brownness that you see. This side of the apple, however, I coated with some of my face forward primer, which has the, the antioxidants pomegranate, goji berry, and resveratrol. So when the oxygen molecules came into contact with this apple's molecules, the antioxidants were there to stop the formation of free radicals, and therefore there's no free radical damage or decay on this half of the apple. Okay? It's very simple, very easy to see. Now, on your skin, uh, free radical damage doesn't happen quite as quickly. Um, it's cumulative and it happens over time. But what does end up happening if free radical damage is allowed to go on are things like an uneven complexion or redness or inflammation, uh, fine lines and wrinkles, loss of elasticity, um, brown spots. These are all maladies of the skin that are caused by free radical damage. So by using antioxidants in your skincare and cosmetics, which I put into my products, um, you can prevent these uh, things which are really not normal parts of aging. Um, they are completely preventable uh, damage that occurs to the skin uh, through the use of antioxidants. Well, I hope this lesson on antioxidants and how they prevent free radical damage to your skin was helpful to you. I'm Allison Raphael for Allison Raphael Cosmetics. Thanks for watching.